Tell me, do you bleed? Good morning and welcome to Whenever You Are. I am Bandit Hayes and today I'm going to be talking about Batman the killing joke now this is based on a graphic novel which i have read so i'm going to be doing just a little bit of a comic book comparison and also talking about the controversy surrounding the adult themes of the story now here's the thing i am going to be getting into some minor spoilers of the story but it's all stuff that you probably already know and to be honest i really don't think you can spoil this movie now batman the killing joke is a graphic novel that tells two stories now the main story is what's often referred to as one bad day where the joker has escaped from arkham asylum and he decides that he wants to prove that anybody just anybody can go crazy if they have just one bad day and he sets his sights on commissioner gordon to accomplish that task the second story is interwoven with that and it tells joker's unofficial origin story where he is a stand-up comedian who is fallen on the hard times he has a pregnant wife and he's contemplating doing a crime in order to get money for his family his wife is killed in an accident but the gangsters force him to commit the crime anyway now while on the job everything goes wrong the gangsters get killed he falls into some chemicals and emerges as the joker <laughs> now you might be thinking that sounds all well and good but how do you turn that into a feature length story well I'll tell you how by adding a 30 minute backstory for a character who ultimately has very little to do with the main story. So before Barbara Gordon was rolling around her apartment calling herself the Oracle, she was running around the city calling herself Batgirl. Now the reason why she stopped being Batgirl is because she got shot and paralyzed by the Joker. And the reason why the Joker shot and paralyzed Barbara Gordon is because he wanted to make Commissioner Gordon mad. In other words, it wasn't about Barbara Gordon, it wasn't about Batgirl, it was all about trying to make James Gordon go crazy. Now not to diminish Batgirl's character, she is an important character, but this story was not about her. And to make matters worse, that whole 30 minute backstory really wasn't even that interesting. It was like watching a 90s sitcom without the laughter track or the jokes or the six friends. Now let me talk a little bit about Batman and Batgirl because as you probably already heard, Batman and Batgirl, they get it on. They knock boots. Batman be getting all up in that ass. A couple of things I want to talk about with this. First of all, yes, it is very inappropriate because Batman is Batgirl's mentor, so it's very much like a teacher having sex with one of his students. That being said, I did hear about one teacher who was having sex with her 13-year-old student and years later, after she got out of jail and he got the restraining order lifted, they got married, had kids and lived happily ever after, so I guess it can work. But generally speaking, inappropriate. But here's the thing, that scene where they're about to get it on Barbara Gordon just takes up her bat shirt like just over the head and throws it to the side. Now I get that it's not some super thick bulletproof vest, fine, but if it can be taken off that easily then it's not much thicker than a t-shirt so how is she not covered in bruises, falling off trucks, dodging bullets, doing all that superhero stuff? wear the marks and not only that underneath her shirt she just has a regular bra now ladies you can confirm this if you've ever gone jogging in just your regular bra your boobs are bounced all over the place it's uncomfortable now imagine doing like flips and jumps and rolls and everything else in a regular bra and something that's not much thicker than a t-shirt you would be in pain all the time so anyway once you get past the 30 minutes of crud the rest of the movie is a pretty faithful adaptation of the original graphic novel and as such it's a pretty decent story my opinion of the comic was that it was okay i don't think it was mind-blowing and amazing like some other people did i thought it was okay i had some really cool moments and it did a pretty good job of portraying the joker as a crazy psychopathic criminal the problem of course is that the movie does have that 30 minute backstory which does nothing for the main story it is is the very definition of an exercise in futility. The reason why they had the backstory on Barbara Gordon is because they wanted to flesh out her character more, they wanted to give her more of a prominent role and I could understand that but I just failed to see how having such a heavy focus on a character just to literally have her discarded 30 minutes later is a better option than saying hey here's the Joker, he's a bad guy, he shot Barbara Gordon because he wanted to make James Gordon mad. In the end, it just comes across as a film where on one hand, they really wanted to stick to the source material, but on the other hand, they wanted to SJW the whole thing 
and the final result is just a mess. All right, so now let me talk about the controversy surrounding Batman The Killing Joke because there was a few people talking about this movie leading up to its release. Now, what they were upset about was the rape storyline, the sexual violence depicted on the pages of the comics. Now, the first thing I wanna say about that is this. There is no rape storyline in either the graphic novel or the animated movie. What happens is that Barbara Gordon is shot, she is stripped, and the Joker takes pictures of her naked body. There is no rape depicted, there is no rape mentioned, there is not even any rape implied. So what we have is pretty much what we usually have in these cases where you have people who haven't read the original source material, haven't seen the movie and just want to open their mouth with an opinion. Now it is fair to say that Barbara Gordon was objectified in the storyline. She is an object used to get Commissioner Gordon angry, but that's kind of the point. The Joker is a bad guy. Bad guys do bad things. The reason why Batman is such a great hero is because he goes up against great villains. But here's what I really want to say about this. As far as sexual violence goes, movies have been depicting that for years. So even if there was a depiction of sexual violence in this story, why would that be a problem? From what I've been reading, the insinuation seems to be because it's a graphic novel or because it's an animated movie, it should not be depicting rape or any kind of themes along those lines. And that to me is just complete bollocks because graphic novels and animations, just like movies and video games and many other things, are mediums for creativity and artistic expression. And art isn't always pretty. Sometimes it's disgusting, sometimes it's violent, sometimes it's the worst things you could possibly imagine. Sometimes it's things you just do not want to see. And sure, there are times where the message that comes across isn't necessarily the message that was intended or the way it was depicted wasn't really the best way to go about it, but none of that means that people shouldn't try. And it shouldn't matter whether it's a graphic novel or an animated movie or a video game or a song, no one medium has the monopoly on important issues. Yeah, got a bit serious there, so might be a little bit awkward trying to end on a joke. I could talk about Brock Turner's conviction though, that was hilarious. I mean, that guy's sentence was shorter than a haiku. And that is what I think of Batman the Killing Joke. What do you think? L-M-A-O or S-M-D-H? Let me know down below and if you liked this video give it a like and share it amongst your friends if you did not like it then give it a dislike and share it amongst your enemies. Either way let me know your reasons in the comments, subscribe if you have not already. Thank you for watching and until whenever, if ever. Because of that I'm not going to call Sean Murray a liar. I am, however, going to say that Sean Murray is a disgrace to men everywhere. Because of Sean Murray, 